Lego! We're exiting the landing ramp, heading down onto the lunar surface. We're, first thing we're going to do is head over and try and get those two helium threes because they're right in front of us. Um, and so as we get them, they're going to be slammed up right into the box. Now isn't that a perfect duck? We're climbing over this ridge and in the process we're arranging ourselves so we're lined up on the ridge. And that resets any central errors we may have up to this point. It looks like it's going to uh, go for these next two helium threes. And it's got them! They're in the box, like with the with their other two. So now we're going to head forward. We're using ultrasonic extensively along this wall, which means we don't have any errors induced from dead reckoning problems. So um, we're just pushing against this crater so we know where we are. We're going to back up a little, drop our forks down, go forward, and grab that loop. We're going on to the next water ice in a small crater. Again, we're going to use ultrasonic wall following using a forward pointing angled ultrasonic sensor. So we know exactly where we are and we don't miss to the sides. Because we hit the crater, we won't miss to the front or back either. There we go. It is in the box. The robot now had a the key can be turned a lifetime to survive the harsh cold lunar night. It's like negative 200 degrees Fahrenheit or something, so having a spot with lots of sun is kind of nice. Five seconds. Picture. And again, we're using a low power here just so we run up to the crater without climbing over it quite yet, because that's not what we want quite yet. Here, we're going to go forward and try and grab that loop. We got it. And we are going to creep forward through this last crater. We got the first loop on our fork, and the other two on our outriggers. Good thing it's got wings. Perfect 